All right, here it is, the polished strat. I got so excited about finishing up these videos that I forgot the last video, which would be uh, adjusting the pickup height. So we're going to do that today. So I also thought it'd be cool to film my reaction for plugging this in the first time. I have not plugged it in yet. I have not heard these pickups yet, um, but they sounded great online. So I'm hoping that I don't get disappointed. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Also, you guys have been uh, sending me some really awesome questions lately, and uh, those are always fun to do. So if you have any question about anything, feel free to leave it in the comments below, and I will answer it as fast as I can. So all that being said, let's get to the video. Okay, so you are going to need a couple of things. This will be a quick and easy video. First thing you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver like this. I like to keep my string action ruler handy so I can lay it across the pickups to make sure that my height's right. It's a really easy way to see where the bottom of the string is and how level your pickups are. Just to make sure you got it right. I also like to use this little ruler right here. It has... 30 seconds on it and 64ths on it so it's really easy to read plus it has a millimeter on the back side there so you could even do that i definitely use that thing a lot <laughs> so we're going to start with a little chart here which just shows you the pickup height and where you need to be at now this is just a starting point. You're definitely going to probably change it after you play it for a little while. So we're going to put the guitar on its side. I hope these views are helpful. I'm still trying to work out the best angles on these cameras and stuff. So we'll take our little ruler there. And you can see we'll, we'll use the millimeter side because it's 2 millimeter or 5 64th. So for the base side, we're just going to use the millimeter since it's easy to read plus i have a little groove wore out in my ruler there <laughs> so i can read it really easy you want to depress the string down at the last fret and check from the top of the pickup pole piece to the bottom of the string and then obviously make your adjustment as you need to double check it again and do that through all three pickups then I like to lay my string gauge across two pickups at a time. And you can see the two millimeter mark on there. And that just it's just the insurance to double check to make sure that my readings are right. It's just really easy to see it with the, uh, with the little graphs where they've got that. And then uh, we do the same thing on the treble side. The 1.6 millimeter is a little weird with this. So we're going to do 4 64ths on the ruler. And that's basically all you have to do with that. So once again, we're going to push the string all the way down at the last fret. Put the ruler on the top of the pole piece and check the bottom of the string. And make our adjustment as we need to. Double check it again. Just keep doing this little increments at a time until you get it where you like it. And then another thing, I just like to lay my string gauge across the two pickups at a time. Just to double check to make sure that that's where I want it to be. And that's it. Pretty, very simple. But I thought it would be fun to, to do this video just so you got some numbers to work with. And you got an idea of, of what I'm doing here. Now, I'm working on the last video. And it will be out as soon as I get done with it. It's taking me a little longer than what I was expecting. Just because I'm doing everything on there. And I'm going to record a song and do a proper uh, sound test and all that stuff. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Let's get the headphones on. And let's plug it in for the first time. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, 
Now, I just have it on just one of my actually tele settings, so I'm going to go through and re-EQ it and all that. I just wanted to see so what we got here. So that's the neck pickup right there. Uh, here's the Quackadoodle fourth position. Middle. Second. And bridge. Sweet, it sounds pretty awesome, man. Man, that's a huge difference with these pickups, too. They sound great. You can go back and check the uh, the video I did with the sound check on it for the stock stuff. And uh, considering that these pickups were only 50 bucks, man. So there it is. We got us a Strat. Now... I will be, like I said before, we're, I'm working on the final video for this, so uh, we got one more video, and I think that'll do it, and uh, yeah, thank you for riding along this journey. There's going to be a complete playlist, so if you watch any of these videos and you decide you want to build one of these, you can order it on Amazon, I and it's all there, so uh so we're gonna yeah we're gonna uh, do some tweaking and all that but we're off to a great start man i'm really excited about this guitar so thank you guys very much and we will talk to you on the next one